So here's the uh, back of our 99 Toyota Tacoma with the snug top camper shell and this this top uh, third tail light has quit working. Well, there's actually one little LED still working in it, but I decided I, I should replace it. It's uh, otherwise um, pretty good camper shell, but uh, so I'm going to replace this guy up here and I already pried the thing a little bit loose and I drilled out this rivet. This rivet was actually not even in place. Uh, it, it didn't really hold anything, but there was some adhesive. So I pried this thing loose and um, it came out, it came loose pretty quick, easily. Let me show you what else I did though inside here. I, uh, I looked up in here to see where the wires come out for this thing. And I, I saw where the wire came down here and goes into a little grommet fitting here. What I did was I cut, I cut the wires with the wire nippers. And I'm gonna use this, this long wire that runs down to the electrical connection to pull the new, uh, the wires for the new uh, third tail light through this, this section of the, uh, of the camper shell. So I'm just gonna use that as sort of a fish fish tape to pull it through so but I've already got the uh, the tail light loose here and I'll just shove it out here so you can see what it looks like uh, there and uh, now back to the outside what I need to do is uh, okay I just let that fall but I need to clean up this around on the fiberglass gel coat here there's still some uh, some rubber adhesive here, or a rubber gasket, I guess is what it is. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use this guy, this little uh, razor razor blade with the holder, to kind of uh, go around and clean all this off. Then I'll use a little bit of that citrus solvent to get the last little bit off. I won't I won't video that whole process because that's pretty simple. Okay, I've, now I've cleaned up the uh, the opening here that had all that gunk and an uh, adhesive gasket around it and uh, I think that'll work fine. What I actually found worked better than the razor blade knife was simply uh, some of this goof off with um, some of this uh, Scotch-Brite pad. And that just took, uh, took dissolved that adhesive and it didn't scratch the enamel coat, as, uh, the gel coat as much. I did scratch it a little bit over here while I was trying to use the knife and the razor blade, but that's okay, it'll all be covered up anyway. So. And you can see where there's the one hole where the uh, rivet was, but this one, when they installed it initially, it, the rivet was just barely on the edge of the opening cut in the camper shell, so it, it really wasn't doing anything, that other rivet there. So um, next step will be to pull, I guess, put the, uh, the new, I'm going to open this up here and show you the new, uh, this is the uh, replacement uh, third tail light that I got and I'll tell you where I got that in a minute uh, I've forgotten the name of the supplier right now but it has a uh, it, it's supposed to fit this is this exact opening I believe it has this this uh, spacer piece it's kind of separate and um, and then the LED uh, tail light itself fits in there well here's what I decided uh, this this new adapter that I received with this uh, light bar didn't really fit in the opening very well. It's uh, not really the right size. And so what I did was I took the old, the old light bar that was burned out and I cut off the back of it here with the lights and all and just kept the, fl the flange around the edge. and with it a little bit so that the, the new light bar now fits in there pretty well. You can see it fits pretty snug here at the corners. And now this whole assembly with a little bit of silicone will, I believe, fit in this opening a little bit better. I can get holding the camera, but now it's going to fit in there pretty snugly like that because the old one was designed for this rectangular opening and the new light bar didn't 
just didn't quite fit without that to seat it in there. And I think with some silicone, clear silicone cement, this is, uh, or caulk, uh, it'll, it'll work okay. First I'm going to now pull the wires through uh, the channel inside the camper shell here then. Okay, I successfully pulled uh, the new wires down through the channel in the uh, in the uh, frame of the camper shell using the old black black wires to pull it down. Um, this is the old uh, the old connector I had, and I, I just simply taped the old wires. I twisted the old ones to the new ones and used electrical tape to make it so it wouldn't catch on anything and pulled that through. That worked out okay. So now I've just simply got to uh, figure out which, I assume the red is positive, 12 volts here, and figure out which one's positive here so that I can uh, clip off this connector and solder it onto the new red and white wires there. So I used my uh, voltmeter to check uh, these guys and I found out that the, uh, the female one here is positive when you hold down the brake. So I put a plus there. I don't know if you can see it, but I put a little plus there on that side and on the other side too. Just to remind me that that's plus and then I verified that when I put the uh, when I put these uh, the red wire in the plus and touch the, the white wire to the negative, uh, it does light up the light bar, so everything's good. So now all I have to do is solder the, the new uh, little terminal, a uh, little uh, connector on there. So I decided to go ahead and uh, silicone the new light bar in the camper shell using this clear silicone. Here comes the wind. I decided to go ahead and do that before uh, Connect, uh, cutting off the wires to the proper length, so that's what I'm going to do next here. So I just put a bead of that clear silicone around the light bar and then I'm going to, I guess, put it together here and see how this works. Okay, I siliconed the new light bar into the old uh, frame, that black plastic frame, and then I put a bead of this clear silicone around that frame and I'm going to shove it into the opening now and hold it there, let it set up a little bit. Alright, so I've got the uh, the wires paired up where they need to go, and I've got the little heat shrink, the big one here and the small ones here, uh, ready to go once I solder this on. So I'm going to solder here using my little soldering iron. I can't do this without putting the camera down. I've soldered them like that, and now I'm going to pull the heat shrink up over those joints once they're cold. A hall lamp here, I'm going to heat up the heat shrink and make it shrink down here. Let's see if I can do this with the camera. The alcohol lamp works pretty well for this. It doesn't uh, doesn't burn it too bad like a match does. Let's try to get it hot. Okay, so that's enough. And now I'm going to slide the, uh, the larger heat shrink down over those two. So here we go with the larger heat shrink over the alcohol lamp. Just to kind of reinforce it and keep those wires together. Probably don't need to do this, but it might look a little neater when I'm done. So that's that's where we're at. So it looks like uh, like that now. So now I just plug this guy in and see if everything works. Okay, I've plugged in my uh, little connector and sort of tucked it out of the way. I'm going to put some uh, that aluminum tape over here to kind of protect this wire and this connector. I'll just tuck. Tuck the, the little connectors tucked up under here, and I'll just put some of that aluminum tape over here to just kind of keep everything flat there and protect it a little bit. So I put the uh, silicone uh, seal in there uh, around this uh, new tail light, and I just used some painter's tape to hold it in place until that stuff cured overnight. So now I'll remove all that tape and see if this whole thing works okay. Yay! Now we got the new third tail light working okay. So, mission accomplished, I guess.